In this video, I'll show you three introductory examples on how to use L'Hopital's rule to find the limit of a function. This will serve as part one of this series. In past videos, we encountered limits of the form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, and we developed techniques to evaluate them, either by factoring or rationalizing. But what about other examples of the form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, where our techniques don't work? For example, here are two functions where those techniques would be futile. This limit is called an indeterminate form of type 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, respectively. In order to tackle these types of limits, you will need to use L'Hopital's rule, which employs calculus, namely first derivatives. And simply put, in order to use L'Hopital's rule, first of all, the limit needs to be in its indeterminate form as discussed above and you will take the numerator and the denominator as their own separate functions find their derivatives and then evaluate the limit using those derivatives let's start with question number one. First, let's test if this is a candidate for the indeterminate forms discussed above if we evaluate ln at one we end up with zero and you can use your calculator to prove that. And similarly, if we evaluate this function at 1, we end up with 0. So we end up with 0 over 0. Hence, we can find the derivative of this function and find the derivative of this function and then evaluate the limit. The derivative of ln x is equal to 1 over x. And I do have a video dedicated on how to find the derivatives of ln. And similarly, the derivative of this function is simply equal to 1. If we simplify this, we end up with 1 over x. And if we were to evaluate the limit as x approaches 1 for 1 over x, we simply get 1. Question number 2 models question number 1. In fact, it's identical except for this limit. And of course, if you were to, if you were to add a very large number into x, this would go to infinity. And if you were to apply a very large number to this x, this would also go to that number. So let's find the derivative of both functions and we discovered above that it was equal to limit as x approaches infinity 1 over x. And if we apply a very large number to x we go to 0. Think about it. 1 over a billion will give you 0 0.000 whatever. So eventually it would go to 0. Find the limit as x approaches 0 for this function. Now there's two routes you can take you can find a common denominator for these two separate terms and then subsequently use L'Hopital's rule or remember that this limit can be applied to this function and this function and I'll take that route the limit as x approaches 0 for 4x over tangent x and the limit as x approaches 0 for cosine let's start with this limit now, since we can evaluate this normally without L'Hopital's rule, in other words, since this is not an indeterminate, we can simply set 0 to our cosine, and we end up with cosine at 0 is equal to 1. So I did not perform L'Hopital's rule here because it's not needed. In this term, 4x becomes 4. And tangent x, and I do have a video on this, if we were to find the derivative of tangent x, we end up with secant squared x. And remember, secant x, for example, is 1 over cosine x. So what I could do is apply my limit as x approaches 0 to this. And 1 over cosine 0 is equal to 1 over 1. And remember, it's secant squared, so if we square this, we still end up with 1. So we end up with 4 minus 1 is equal to 3, and that is the limit for question 3. In our next video, I'll demonstrate more examples on how to use L'Hopital's rule. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.